Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at using Pixelmator to create semi-transparent images. Now, one of the most common questions I get asked is how to create semi-transparent images. You've got 32-bit images where some of the image is transparent and shows the background behind it. You can use these in applications like iMovie and Pages and you need to create them in a graphics program. Now in episode 423 I show you how to create them in preview but it's a bit clunky. It's better to use a dedicated graphics program like maybe Photoshop. Photoshop can be a little expensive. A, another alternative is a program called Pixelmator which you can get in the Mac App Store. Let's look at using that to create a semi-transparent image. Now with Pixelmator you start off here. Yes, you do want to create a new image or open an existing one. Let's open an existing one um, and grab this one off the desktop that I've got here, which is just a photograph. And it opens it up here in a new document window. Now by default all images have a transparent background, but in this case photograph completely covers it with pixels. So I can erase part of the background simply by selecting a portion of it, select here, and pressing delete. We'll unlock it first, delete, and you can see I have a transparent area here. You can see the checkerboard pattern back there which is universal in graphics applications for showing you there's transparency. Now I'll undo here and it's more likely I want to cut out say the sky here. I can do that usually by choosing a lasso type of tool and selecting an area so I can just cut out around the house really roughly like that. and then select the entire sky and then I can delete it like that. Uh, a good technique in just about all graphics programs is to be able to adjust the selection. So you can do that here in Edit and you can go to Refine Selection and Feather it. And you can see it shows you here a rough estimate of the area. So you can see I'm kind of creating a more fuzzy area here of transparency. This works better if I would actually have selected a wider area, but I'll select OK. And now when I delete, you can see it's kind of a fuzzy area, a fuzzy line between the transparent area and the solid area uh, rather than a solid sharp line. Now the important thing is to now save it out in a format that supports 32-bit transparency. So we'll do export. And in export here, by default, you've got JPEG. Now JPEG doesn't support transparency. PNG is the format you most likely want to use that will support transparency. And I can export the PNG to the desktop. And now I've got a semi-transparent image. Let me bring that out from behind me. And you can see I've got the second one right here. If I double click on it, it will actually open up in Preview. And you can see in Preview it shows me that same checkerboard pattern behind the house which tells me that uh, it's transparent up there. All right, so as an example, let's look in pages here and I have a blank layout document. I'm going to drag the PNG there. And how do I know this is transparent? Because it's a white background and I'm just showing white there anyway. Uh, let's go and create a shape and a box shape like this. Um, and then let's send it behind there. And you can see that the transparent area shows the shape behind it. So here's another example in iMovie here. I've got some video. Let's uh, just drag a video clip in here. I have um, advanced tools turned on uh, here, show advanced tools. So that means when I drag this photo from the finder onto the video, I'll get all these extra options. I'll select picture and picture and it will put it there. Notice that the top of the house above it is cut out. It's transparent to the video and I can drag it here. I'll change the cropping to, uh, if I do standard crop, you see what I get there. I can change the size. If I do fit, you can see that it's not going to obey the transparency. Um, so I want to make sure that I choose cropping. And also notice that if I chose allow black, then you can see that because this is a 4x3 photo but this is a 16x9 video you get the black bars on either side. So I want to make sure I disallow black. And now I've got this and I can cut out a shape uh, inside of this uh, image or any image and it, all the transparent parts will show through and all of the opaque parts will be on top of the video. 
So that's how to use Pixelmator to create semi-transparent images. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.